Why would you need something like the Synology server? It's just a big hard drive, right? Wrong. With more and more of our lives going digital, you need a great backup solution that goes beyond what a hard drive can do. I'm gonna show you five great uses for the Synology 420 Plus NAS in your digital life. Hey guys, it's Craig on this channel. I show you how to get more out of your tech. This Synology 420 Plus NAS was sent over from Synology for me to check out. If you're not familiar with Synology, they make affordable NAS options. And if you're not familiar with what NAS stands for, it is Network Attached Storage. It's a server for files that can be accessed from your home network work or away from the house. Before we get started with the five uses, let's take a look at the Synology 420 Plus. This box is basically a computer that manages data. Inside is a processor, RAM, and a lot of storage. It's designed to store and protect your data by using multiple hard drives. If one hard drive fails, you can replace it and none of your data is lost. This is done by using a RAID setup. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disk. The 420 Plus has four drive slots on it, and each drive can be up to 16 terabytes for a grand total of 64 terabytes. Now, a portion of that would be used for redundancy in case of a hard drive failure. Adding or swapping out hard drives is easy. You unlock the bay, you pop it out, and there's your hard drive. If you have a failure, you Take out this drive, you put a new one in, stick it back in, lock it off, your data gets moved over to the new drive and you're safe again. You can find these Synology NAS drives in two bay configurations, four bay configurations and more. This is perfect for me because I deal with a lot of 4K footage, but for you a two hard drive configuration may be better. You still would have redundancy with your data. You can find links to the Synology NAS options down below in the description and on any of them, you can use all these features I'm gonna talk about. Since this is basically a computer, there are a lot of different apps that you can use with it for different functionality. Now let's talk about why the average consumer would want to invest in a Synology NAS server. Stick with me to the end, we have some fun media options we can use this for. Number one is for worry-free backups. Hard drives are electronics and electronics fail. Most of the larger size hard drives have a rotating disk in them that can stop working. How many of you all have your files backed up on one of these hard drives? Are you backing up to the cloud too? Maybe you don't have room on your computer to keep everything, so you move some of your files to an external hard drive. I had to move a lot of my family photos off of my computer because of space. Maybe you haven't backed up your photos or files to your drive recently. What happens if your phone or your computer hard drive fails? Best case, you did a backup and you recovered all from your hard drive. If you're like me, most likely you didn't do that backup too recently. What if you go to the hard drive to grab some of those family videos or other files and the hard drive doesn't work? The nice thing with the Synology 420 Plus is that it can monitor the health of the hard drives and alert you if there is a failure on any of them. A hard drive failure on your computer or external drive can cost up to a thousand dollars to get your files from a data recovery company. With this, you get an alert if a hard drive fails, you pop it out, you put in a new drive, and then all of your data is moved over to it. You have data redundancy. That's good because if it wasn't important to you, why did you put it on an external drive in the first place? With the Synology NAS, it's as easy as dragging files over to any external drive, or you could set up automatic backups over Wi-Fi on your network. Now, number two is Cloud Sync. Cloud services are great for backing up your files, but they're only as good as the person using them. They can't necessarily protect against human error. And what I mean by that is most cloud services have 30 days to recover deleted files. What if you accidentally delete an important folder that's on your computer and it deletes it from your cloud? If it's within 30 days, you can just restore that file without a problem. But what if you didn't notice that important folder was deleted until a couple months later? You can't get it back. Now with Cloud Sync and Synology software, you can connect your cloud account to your NAS drive. That way it keeps another backup of your data. A couple years ago, I uploaded all the family videos I needed to remove from my computer to the cloud. 
then I stopped syncing that folder to my computer. My files were just sitting there in the cloud, not synced to a computer. Then one day I went to go retrieve them and they were gone. My heart sank. It was years of family memories were gone. I felt like I let down my family and my wife as the keeper of the family's digital memories, as the tech in the family who was supposed to know how this worked. Luckily, I'd found a copy of them that I made on one of my external drives and I was able to get them back. But with Cloud Sync, I now have those files copied to the Synology 420 Plus and have physical copies without them needing to be on my computer or on one of these. I have data backup redundancy with the cloud and the NAS. There are two ways to set up Cloud Sync. I can have bi-directional communication. So if a change happens on the NAS or the cloud, both places are updated. Or I can have one-way communication turned on, so only additions to the cloud come to the NAS for physical backup. For my photos, I have it so that anytime I add a photo, it uploads it to the cloud, and anything uploaded to the cloud comes back to the Synology 420 Plus. A Synology NAS can also be a great alternative to cloud services. His popular cloud services tend to run about $100 a year for two terabytes, and you're basically renting space per year on their servers. That's great, but it may not be enough space for all your files and can get really expensive if you need more storage. You know how much it would cost to have enough cloud storage to save all my 4K videos for this channel and all the videos my wife has shot of my kids, that money may be better served to buy something like this. You can have eight terabytes, 32 terabytes, or even 64 terabytes of storage. You can buy bigger drives over time as you need more storage. You can create your own backup option that you only pay for once. You own the land your files are on and not at the mercy of price changes from the company backing up your data. A Synology drive can be set up to do the same backup of folders a cloud service can do. That leads me to number three, a complete computer backup. It's nice the Synology NAS can easily set up automatic backups of my whole computer, not just folders on my computer. Cloud services are not backing up your whole computer. You can't use a cloud service to restore your computer if you have to replace a hard drive or a whole computer. But I can with this. As a Mac user, I can go into the NAS settings and turn it on so that my Mac will recognize it as a hard drive for a time machine backup. Then I can go into my Mac, turn on time machine settings and select the NAS. Now I'll have running backups on my computer that I can always go back to. The whole state of my computer is captured. If something goes wrong, I delete a file or need to go back a version on a file, I can go into Time Machine and correct the mistake. I can set my wife's computer to use the same NAS for her Time Machine backup. Now with the PC, I can enable that same feature using the software that's within the NAS and then download the desktop app. I can set up the app to automatically back up my whole PC. Hard drives like this are not going to do that over a Wi-Fi network. If you want to take the time to plug in the hard drive and remember to run a backup, good luck with that. Never worked for me. Maybe it works for you. Or you can always keep a drive like this attached to your computer so it automatically runs backups for you. This can do all those backups automatically and wirelessly in the background. Number four is creating a media server. You may have all your movies or songs backed up on your hard drive of your computer or on an external drive. With that, you can only play them on your computer or from your computer to a TV. Or they may be sitting there eating up space on your computer or sitting on an external hard drive because you don't have enough room on your computer. With the Synology 420 Plus, you can easily create a Plex server to be able to access your media on all of your devices instead of just one computer. If you have an Apple TV, Fire TV, Chromecast, or Roku, you could download the Plex app and stream your music or movies right from the Synology server. No need to keep DVDs around for those movies you bought before everything was digital. Can we say every old Christmas movie my wife has gathered on DVDs? I hate DVDs. I created a Plex server and burned everything to a digital format so I can get my DVDs out of my house. 
If you wanna know how to set up a Plex server, I will have a video coming out on that soon. It's so easy to be able to play those Christmas movies or old Disney movies on an Apple TV we're already using instead of loading a DVD player that sits there 90% of the time doing nothing. Did I mention I hate DVDs? It's also great to be able to see those CDs or MP3s I purchased years ago right there in an easy to use app. With Plex, you can pay a yearly or one-time fee to be able to take your media on the go. Also with Plex software, there are free channels and movies you can watch that are included when you set up a server for free. Now, number five is syncing your photos with Moments. Moments is one of the apps that you can install on the Plex server to deal with photos and videos in one spot. The Moments app that I've been using will organize your photos and videos by date, but it can do so much more using AI. It can identify faces, locations pictures were taken, the subject of photos, and more. It'll create different categories for each of those areas. And you can access photos and videos right off the NAS server using a web browser or through an app on your mobile device. Now using Cloud Sync I mentioned in use number two, you can have all your cloud photos automatically sync to moments on the NAS. I like the option through the mobile app to be able to have new photos I take on my phone automatically get saved to moments on my NAS server. Now if I accidentally delete it from my phone or the cloud, the photo or video is still there more data and file redundancy, which is a great thing. Now any files you back up on a Synology NAS can be accessed over the internet and you could easily share files with other people just like you would with a cloud service. All your data can be accessed on any of your devices, which is a great option. You never know what you may want or need and it might not be in a cloud folder. I've only covered five uses, but there are many more. You can use this to record footage from your security cameras so your videos are not on some camera company's server. So if you have indoor cameras protecting your house, there's no chance anybody's going to be able to watch that footage other than you because it's on your server. You can do file sharing. You could set up your own email server. You can even host your own website straight from this NAS. Overall, the Synology 420 Plus and other Synology servers do way more than just store files. Just the fact it can reliably back up data is great. My digital life's not getting any smaller and with less files. Is yours? What is your backup solution? Next, make sure to check out these videos over here for some everyday uses of other tech products. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.